Hi. <clears throat> wow, what is going on with my voice? Let me take a drink of water there. I was like, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, Aquarius. <laughs> um, hi, Aquarius. Um, this is your end of the month reading from May the 16th to the 31st. I hope everyone is having a good day so far. Better than my voice, apparently. Um, but if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising, because you could be in that energy as well. Just let so you know, these are general readings, so if it resonates, just take what does. and uh, Or take what resonates and kind of leave the rest here. I also just want to say thank you um, for everyone who has been there, for everyone who's kind of... Um, been supporting me through this and I'm watching my videos and just taking the time to do it honestly um, I just want to say that I'm so so grateful for everyone that is here and um, watching and continuing to come back um, y'all are great so thank you so much let me just pull some cards for you here all right Just feel the energy that I'm feeling. All right, so we have the Two of Cups popping out here, which is um, relationship energy here. So this is a pairing. It doesn't have to be a romantic pairing. It could also be a friendship. Um, could be anything, um, you know, uh, could be a, f a friendship, a romantic relationship, a, a work partnership. The Two of Cups is just kind of about relationship, whether, again, that's romantic, whether that's working, whether that's platonic. Um, it's about a kind of a relationship here. We do have the Star card coming out in reverse. Uh, star card represents um, Aquarius energy, actually, but it also represents uh, kind of uh, when it's in the reverse, losing hope or something not really um, being a wish fulfillment here or feeling like it's not something that you uh, wanted or wish for. Um, so you might have a relationship here where you're just kind of maybe questioning if um, this is truly kind of maybe the right thing for you or you're kind of losing hope um, on a situation. I don't know if there's a little bit of a kind of um, a connection here that is feeling out of reach or kind of um, tumultuous in a way. Um, it just kind of feels like I don't know it feels like maybe our eye is wandering a little bit or we feel like there's not maybe uh, much ex um, kind of excitement anymore in this pairing or partnership we have the page of wands in reverse which is all about kind of um, uh, feeling stuck not really feeling um, being able to kind of um, you know, be free, to be adventurous, to be kind of, um, to go explore. It, it's just kind of this energy of, again, feeling stuck in the space with the Page of Wands of Wars and not really feeling passionate anymore. So there might be just this partnership or this collaboration here that you are feeling that you were kind of losing hope on it because you're feeling the passion have maybe died out a little bit or you're feeling like there is kind of um, a bit of kind of, uh, you know, wanting to go out and explore more and not knowing if this is truly um, the relationship for you. We do have the Four of Cups here, so there is kind of walking away energy. There is kind of energy of leaving something behind. I do want to get more on this and kind of see... Six of Cups. Six of Cups is popping out here. The past is interesting. The past is coming into play in this kind of reading here or in this relationship. Maybe this energy is someone from the past that you are maybe trying to get over, um, a relationship that you did have, or um, someone from the past might be coming back to change your influence kind of on this relationship or kind of with this person. If it's not that, um, if you are kind of happy in your circumstances right now, if you are happy kind of in your relationship um, and things are going well, it's almost like this un... Um, it's feeling like uh, this almost this need to um, constantly be in that state of um, exploration, of the state of like passion, the state of making everything 100% 24-7. Um, there's something here from the past where it's almost like um, energy when a relationship kind of you're feeling like it's getting stale and trying to fix it, you kind of run away from it in a way or, f or start getting this feeling that things are maybe not 
right and you kind of leave it behind so there might be some kind of association with the past and those kind of relationships here where you're just like you know when things kind of fizzle out or things that get boring you're kind of just like well maybe there's something else for me out there i don't know i kind of want to get some more energy to read into this for you aquarius they're saying let go let go four of pentacles Knight of Wands into reverse, let go. Um, <clears throat> if, this, if there is this person that has this kind of player energy, or if this is you that has this player energy, um, this is an energy that we kind of need to get rid of here, or we need to let go of. If someone, especially in these relationships, is playing you, if someone's kind of deceiving you, if someone is kind of, um, you know, cheating or doing something kind of behind your back um, here, then yes, obviously, maybe it's time to let them go and stand up for yourself here. Um, but also, if it's you, I don't know, I'm just getting this feeling, Aquarius, that we might not, uh, we need to be a little bit honest um, with ourselves is the energy I'm getting and we need to be open also communicatively with maybe this um, partner that we are having here as well because the two of cups is upright. So it, it feels like, I know maybe this is unconventional Aquarius, but I want you to be able to kind of communicate your your needs here to kind of this partner or if this is actually something you are thinking about to kind of discuss it with them um, before. Um, and not if it's the person who is kind of, you find out, uh, you know, who might be playing you or has player energy, but um, there is this energy of kind of needing to let go of that. And I don't know if that's you or if this is them um, here, but there is this kind of energy that that's not serving you anymore. The Knight of Wands reverse also is uh, energy of passion dying out. So this might be a time where, again, you're feeling like there is passion maybe dying out in a relationship or a situation um, here. But I think we kind of need to let go of that, that being the only kind of factor needed um, in a relationship. You know, just kind of the physical, just kind of the passion, just kind of um, the love there. Because, yes, we love to, like, put it on the put it all on that energy Aquarius um, but you know it's like what are we doing to if we really do want this instead of saying oh well this relationship is just going to die out or it's not going the way I want it to you know having a conversation about that you know kind of seeing um, really coming together as like a team or a union uh, or a unit here and maybe your decisions made and maybe your decision is like you know what I'm gonna get out of this situation I'm done I'm done with it I'm leaving it and I mean that's your decision but I, just, I don't know, I'm just feeling this energy that a conversation would be uh, beneficial in these kind of, this kind of time. Because we do have the seven of cups here. So we have options maybe, or we have choices, or just kind of confusing um, energy. So you might just feel right now that you're just kind of very confused on what to do. You just don't know kind of where to go in this energy. Um, there might be a lot of options out there for you. And I don't just mean romantic options, but I think you um, see maybe pathways or different kind of scenarios going on here. Um, all I gotta say is try to ground yourself a little bit here if you can. Um, I think things will be a little bit clearer for for you Aquarius in that, okay? For Aquarius, please. There's some, so what is this, what is this five of cups? Again, this energy of feeling like um, uh, um, something is not a wish fulfillment or something is not kind of satisfying here. We do have the five of cups um, coming up, which is this kind of pain and the sadness, but I wanted to show you with the five of cups, you see he's looking at the three that have fallen, but he's not looking at the two that stand up. So this is also kind of when it's talking about kind of pain and grief. Yes, obviously pain and grief are important. And yes, um, there are situations here um, where like we just kind of look at the negative but we don't see what we kind of still have and i feel like this is this energy this week here where it's just like we're kind of looking and maybe at the things that are negative in our life and we're not kind of looking at the positive or the things that are still standing in our life here this um <clears throat> sorry this nine of cups reversed is kind of all about um a w uh, uh, not feeling fulfilled and what this can also kind of represent is kind of emotionally fulfilled is sometimes when we kind of um, overcompensate or over um, indulge in things. And that's this energy with this Nine of Cups as well, is you can, um, feeling like overindulging, feeling, you know, what that sense of almost lack here, that sense of, you know, things aren't going my way. So maybe I'll go out drinking or maybe, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll slip around or maybe, you know, like it's it's all, talking about overindulgement. Um, it could be kind of party animal energy here as well. Um, <clears throat> 
I want to get more on what this is, but yeah, again, it's just, again, feeling just like not emotionally satisfied and, and, and feeling like, um, there's just a little bit here where something's not feeling like what you kind of hoped it was or wanted here. I'm going to go on this. Yeah, Knight of Cups energy in reverse here. Not feeling maybe emotionally supported or emotionally cared for. Um, maybe this relationship that you were hoping to kind of come in here, again, is not kind of what you expected it to be. It's interesting here, though, because, yes, I'm getting this player energy for some of you, but if some of you are having a relationship that works, I just, I, I'm just feeling that there might be a little bit of kind of a rough patch in these two weeks or a time where, um, you know, other circumstances are coming into play to, to the relationship. So I think a conversation would be super beneficial here. Knight of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, just stagnant energy. For some of you, this definitely is, um, could be a work kind of relationship here as well, because I just get all this kind of stuck energy here, or this frustrating energy, but then I get the Justice card, and then I get the Ace of Pentacles. So the Justice card is all about, um, it could involve around law, um, maybe again, you are going through a court case or something, this relationship has something to do with court or something like that. It's also Libra energy as well, so this person could be a Libra, have a Libra in their chart, have a Libra Venus. Um, with the justice card here but what again with this coming out means kind of good karma or kind of um good um you know what is fair and what is right will come to um will come to the light here you know things that are just things that are right um things that are, ha involve good karma good people will prevail in this kind of situation and we have the ace of pentacles coming out here which means um, a new kind of stable foundation or a new stable offering that could be more money, um, Aquarius, in this week, that could be a job um, offer, um, that could be maybe a promotion here. Um, this could also just be a stable relationship or someone kind of to come in to give you stability. And maybe when there was this relationship up here that seemed kind of, um, you know, it wasn't really working out for you, it didn't really feel stable, really didn't feel connected. Again, there might be this new offer coming in for you here as well. The Empress is also popping out, which is a great energy to have because the Empress is all about um, this energy of kind of um, abundance, um, this energy of kind of things kind of working out for you or gravitating towards you here. Can I get more on this Empress energy and this Ace of Pentacles energy? king of pentacles yeah definitely this new kind of financial start for you here um whatever it is you're kind of going through whatever uh, um energy is uh, being tested i feel like there is just going to be this new kind of career or or work opportunity for you that is going to help you through all of this help you through all of this stuck energy um through the energy of uh, sorry i'm just feeling what i'm feeling here feels like whatever this this offer is coming at the end of the reading here is big it feels like it's huge it feels like it's going to put us in this energy of kind of um major kind of abundance or or back on track here after this energy of being stuck or um, confused on what to kind of do here i think it feels it feels like whatever this is at the bottom here this king of pentacles this empress this ace of pentacles it's going to pull you out of whatever situation that you are dealing with at the top here or whatever kind of maybe partnership or relationship issues that you are having and kind of keep you put you maybe back on track this person could also be someone that's pretty wealthy or you're starting to again it feels like a level up at the end of the reading here so i'm just going to get two more cards defending ourselves what is this what we have to have strong boundaries for foundation to We have the uh, Seven of Wands here, and then we also have the Four of Wands. So it's almost like uh, boundaries, and also um, um, the Four of Wands is kind of home energy that I get from this. It can be like, again, uh, big events like birth of the baby, engagement, um, buying a house together, um, things like that. We do have the Seven of Wands popping out here, which means we might be feeling attacked, or we might be feeling um, this energy of having to stand up for ourselves in some kind of house 
situation or or home unit here. So again, you might be having um, this situation here where where you have a feeling like you have to kind of stand up for your energy, or people maybe are attacking you in your home unit, or um, maybe in this kind of relationship here. Maybe something about the house. Maybe something about. Um, uh, a family here, maybe something about your foundation. So just be on the watch out for that and make sure you are um, standing up for yourself and you are kind of standing up for your own boundaries here. The seven of wands means people might be trying to kind of either say things to you or kind of coming coming at you a little bit here. Um, so just, uh, you know, it seems like you're on the, the right energy here. You're putting up boundaries against people, especially kind of in the home unit here. You're giving people the boundaries. Um, that they need, but <clears throat> so I'm proud of you for that, for, for standing up for yourself here and standing up for your boundaries. All right, so I just pulled some oracle cards. The oracle card we got was um, anxiety reversed. So anxiety reversed. Finally, relief. The nightmare of this card reversed means that one of two things, either a recent problem is on its way out, causing you to feel more relaxed, or you have mastered an old habit of worrying and have freed yourself from anxiety within. Either way, anxiety reversed is a good omen for a more relaxed and peaceful times to come. Maintain a trusting attitude and let the difficulties and fear thoughts fade away into the distance. I let go of fear and worry and I assume, I assume the best and live in peace. All is well. And I feel like that fear is kind of coming in here with this top of this reading, right? With the star card kind of reversed here, with the sadness coming in, with the seven of cups here for you as well. Things being stagnant or things maybe not moving forward. But again, I see this kind of relief at the end of this reading. So um, I think it's kind of, you'll either A, know what to do, or B, you'll just feel a lot better about it by the end of the two weeks. You also have Child of the Cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. There's a mysterious force that governs all life, an intelligence that tells the flowers when to bloom and the tides of the season when to come and go. This intelligence is within you and it was there before you drew your first breath. It will be there beyond, well beyond your last. And this, it's part of that informed every cell of what you do and in, when you were in your mother's womb. It's harder to resist this force more than it is to surrender to it because Earth is a planet of polarity and free will. It's easy to forget that intelligence exists within us. So often we become disconnected from the pulse of life and fall into a pattern of believing that we are separate and that a feeling that we need to go at it alone. And that is like what I was saying before in the top of the reading where you just kind of um, want this energy to kind of maybe push things away or kind of um, walk away from something here in the past when the kind of energy dies out a bit or it's not as, as um, uh, I almost don't want to say fragrant, but that, I feel like that's a weird word to say. But um, I'm going to say a fragrant anymore, you know, it's not that kind of that sweetness. It's kind of like the realness kind of comes in um, of life here as well. We feel so isolated as if we need to figure things out for ourselves, but to rely on our own strength. You're being called to remember that the intelligence within each and every one of your cells, to remember that you're a precious child of a loving, gentle universe, and that you have access to all the intelligence, wisdom, strength, flow and the qualities there that were all are or will be and to remember that if flowers know exactly when to and how to bloom then you do too how can you surrender more deeply to the intelligent flow of life so exactly so maybe this kind of situation is happening here for a reason you know maybe the energy um is not um there the the passion is not there because this conversation needs to come up again whether this is romantic or work relationship by the end of the two weeks i feel like you'll be feeling a lot better aquarius so this was your end of the month reading i hope that helped